All right, now at five, President Trump delivers an economic message in Kenosha. I'm proud to announce that we are about to take bold new steps to follow through on my pledge to buy American and hire American. To that end, the president signed an executive order requiring, among other mandates, that American-made products be used in federal construction projects. He also pledged to change the trade deal that is hurting Wisconsin dairy farmers. We have live team coverage of the president's southeast Wisconsin visit. Tom Durian is live with what the president had to say, while Julia Fellow has the story of anti-Trump protesters. But it was our own Charles Benson who landed the exclusive interview with President Trump. Charles joining us live with more on what the president had to say to you. A big day here for President Trump as he promotes one of his campaign promises, buy American, hire American. But he's also facing a number of other challenges, not only domestically, but internationally. And I asked him about that he has not been able to score any legacy legislative victories just yet. And it was interesting when we talked about health care and the setback there on the repeal and replace Obamacare, how he framed that setback in my interview with him. Listen in. You're approaching your 100 days in office. Uh, no big legislative wins, but do you still have confidence in Speaker Ryan that he will be able to deliver on your agenda when it comes to tax reform, health care in the House? Well, I think we are going to have a big win soon because we're going to have health care, and I believe that's going to happen. And, you know, there was no, like, loss with health care. This is just a constant negotiation, and the plan is getting better and better all the time. So the president still sounding optimistic that a health care bill will play, uh, will pass and also looking forward to other ideas like his infrastructure plan and also trying to get tax reform a lot on his agenda. He also had a big entourage down here in Kenosha. We saw his Treasury secretary here with him, his education secretary here as well. And of course, he talked about Reince Priebus, who he called the pride of Kenosha, who was raised here in Kenosha. So he had a lot going on. And this was a place that he wanted to come to to deliver this particular message buy American hire American George hey Charles I'm wondering what concerns does the president have about North Korea's nuclear threat so we did talk about that and he says the big concern is that he doesn't know who we're dealing with specifically here with Kim Jong-un in North Korea he says that he does think the situation is has some uncertainty to it because of that the unknown he does think that China has some leverage there and he's hoping China can help out on that front but he's also hoping that he says we want peace if they want peace that will hopefully be the end game here all right let's talk back domestically Charles okay you said that the president wanted to come to Kenosha but why Kenosha why snap on tools to make this announcement? So snap on tools is really a good backdrop for his narrative today. This is a company that says that 80% of the product that it sells in America is made in America. Also, this is a blue collar town. So if you're going to push what has been President Trump's bread and butter issue, American workers, American jobs, this is the place to do it. What is interesting in the election in November, he just barely won this county by 250 votes. So it's a place where he knows if his policies are going to work here, there's a good chance they're going to work in America. For now, we're live in Kenosha. Charles Benson, today's TMJ4. All right, Charles, thank you for your coverage.